Right guys, this is short game Saturday. Let's stop duffing those chip shots. This is gonna absolutely transform the way you chip it. This is short game Saturday on Alex Elliott Golf. And if you're brand new to the channel, warm welcome to the channel. We upload every single day. Yes, you heard me right, every single day. Short tips, snippets to help you improve your golf game. I want to just do a quick reminder of how we set up to the golf ball and then a super cool concept to actually get this working much better. So straight away, all I want you to do is get a club head width apart with your stance. I want the ball position in the middle of your stance and I want you to favor your weight on that left side. Now this is the key move. This is the signature move right here. Keep the shoulders parallel, pull the left foot back, flare the left foot. So ultimately our hips are slightly open to target but our shoulders are parallel. Hands on the golf ball now. We're now in a great position to actually start striking these chip shots. And honestly, if you take that setup, you're gonna see your chipping go from here to here straight away. But now we add in that concept when, well, well, let's hit this away first, because it's ultimately gonna be, oh, stop it, stop it. It's gonna be a game changer. Now for this concept and this technique, we're gonna need the trusty badminton racket. Oh, like from nowhere. Come on, you love it when I have this out, guys. So, the technique is so simple. All we've got to feel is, from that setup, can we feel as though we bring the badminton racket back to the same position? I don't want you to take the loft off. I don't want you to hit and scoop it up into the air. Can we return the badminton racket to the same position? And honestly, that is gonna make a predictable amount of loft. It's gonna help you using the bounce. It's gonna absolutely change the way you chip. Honestly, change it. Right, let's hit the shot away. Okay, we're in. Feet club it apart, pull the left foot, flare it, weight left, return the badminton racket to the same position. I mean, I've hit a shot there with the badminton racket on. How easy was that? I had a little bit of check. It was honestly absolute game changer. Now, what is super important is that you need to realize you have to have your short game as being flexible. You've got to be flexible to situations. So this one's a little bit further down now, a little bit more loft needed. So I've opened the face, but I'm still going to return to the same position. Return it, don't drive it, and don't scoop it. and having a blueprint to stick to, but be flexible to, well, it's a game changer. Right, let's go, let's go and get those. How many times is it a game changer, guys? I'm sorry, but it, it ultimately is gonna change the way you chip. Now, I think this is really important. Every time we speak to the pros and we hear the pros, they say, short game is so important. We need to practice our short game. We've gotta do it. We save all our shots there. But ask yourself the question, how much short game practice do you actually do? A lot of us don't actually prioritize it because we're more bothered about hitting it 350 through the air. I mean, hitting it 350 through the air is pretty damn sick, but ultimately, if we're gonna lower our scores, we need to make sure we're practicing these assets of the game. So if it's three shots over there, let's hit three shots over here, remind ourselves of the technique. So if we just translate this to our right hand now, return it to the same position. We're not striving it, we're not scooping it. It's just returning to the same position. So every time I've got a shot now, I've got hips slightly open, shoulders parallel to both target line. Just return it to the same position. Get the balance working, get it to be flexible. Just makes chipping look so much more relaxed. How often, and again, the reason why we duff it, we stood to this, all tense, a lot of forward shuffling, big. It doesn't work. It's really hard to make good contact. Of course we can. But my technique, what I'm saying to you right now, look how easy it is. I'm almost chipping like nonchalantly because I'm bringing the club back to the same position. So if I said to you, you start with X, bring it back to X. Don't change it to Y or don't change it to Z or Z if you're watching from America. I think I got that right. I think I got that right. So on the next chip again, bring it back to the same position. Bring it back, bring it back. Down towards the flag, and who's to say that you couldn't do that with every single club? So whether you're carrying 56, 54, 52, 60, 58, pitching wedge, whatever it might be in your bag, you can use that same technique, and all you're gonna do is affect the loft that it comes out at by changing the club. 
easy, flexible, simple. So it's the weekend and we've probably played golf by now. It's 4 p.m. and you're watching this video. One, how have you played today? And two, if you've got any questions about how you have played today, fire them down below. Like I always say in every single video, I'm here to help you. Yes, you behind the computer screen, the iPhone, the iPad, wherever you're watching it, or if you have an Android like me. Um, controversial, all my friends give me um, I can't actually say what they give me for using this phone, but yeah, we'll move on. Um, so Stephen Whiting on last week's Short Game Saturday video commented on this. So last week's Short Game Saturday was the ultimate rules that you need to use. And I'll leave the link to that just up here. He said, good video, short, concise, and to the point. I use this rule myself and it works out very well for me. It saves me strokes each round while my golf buddies throw it all the way to the flag. I mean, you've heard it straight from the horse's mouth there. Steven said how easy it is for him to use the rule. So make sure you do go and check that out. Other ones coming down here are um, from Jeff. Get it rolling. I agree completely. Lee Trevino's advice from 40 years ago. I mean, we can't reinvent the wheel, guys. If these guys have been saying it for 40 years, and Lee Trevino, I mean, a legend of the game, then we all need to start doing it. Uh, another one here from Kevin Duggan. He said, good tips, keep it short and consistent and short game advice has been fantastic. But guys, you've heard from them. Have you got anything that you're struggling with in your golf game? Because I'm here to help. So anything that you do comment down below, I'll either comment on in the video and we'll pull something out on the video or I'll comment to every single person on YouTube directly. So guys, I mean, you mean a lot to me. You are part of this channel. I create this content for you. So see you tomorrow on Sunday Swings.